My name is Dana Gossett, and I serve as the chair for the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology for NYU Langone Health. My desire to be an OBGYN is about my care for women, uh, for women's reproductive rights, their health, uh, being an advocate for women, and being able to help women through some of the most wonderful and difficult moments in their lives. So at this point, my practice consists only of gynecology. So I don't take care of pregnant women uh, in the office. I do do a little bit of work in our labor and delivery in the hospital. And in terms of what I see for gynecologic care in the office, I actually see the full spectrum of reproductive life. So I do have a focus on pediatric and adolescent gynecology. So I see children who might have developmental issues with their gynecologic system, adolescents for all of the things that adolescents might need, uh, adults throughout their lifespan, including women going through menopause and into older ages. I take care of the whole, the whole gamut. I think there are a lot of diagnoses in gynecology that are frightening or overwhelming or shameful or embarrassing for some people. And I think the most important thing is education, letting women know as much information as they're ready to handle about the diagnosis, about their options, about what it means for them going forward, and importantly, what we're going to do together to manage or treat whatever comes up. It's really important to me that my patients feel like they're partners in their treatment decision making, that they really understand what's going on so that they can help me understand their priorities because that's what's going to guide how we make decisions about treatment. I think the reason that I like practicing in an academic center and that I get my own care here and would always recommend that women get their care in an academic center is the level of rigor that's applied to medical decision making. And what I mean by that is we really think carefully about what the medical evidence shows, what research shows, what the national guidelines are, and then we think carefully about how we apply those to each individual woman in front of us. So I frequently find myself educating people about things that I think are pretty basic, but they've been getting care in a different setting and they haven't been getting standard of care. It's always surprising to me how often I have to tell people that pap smears aren't annual tests anymore, and they haven't been for a decade. Um, but many, many women still believe that pap smears are recommended annually because that's what they've been getting, and that's just not evidence-based. Um, so I think the most important thing is making sure that we're practicing at the highest level of evidence and medical standards. And then the other advantage is that I'm a generalist. I'm a general OBGYN doctor. And that means I'm not going to take care of gynecologic cancer. I'm not going to take care of most of infertility or high-risk pregnancy. And all of the people who do those more complex specialties are at my fingertips and within reach of my patients. And if I have a question, my colleagues are a phone call away so that I can really provide the access to the full spectrum of reproductive health care. I think the most important thing for me and the reason that I find my job as a doctor satisfying is that I can really get to know my patients. I really enjoy the fact that I can see people year after year. I can see them through acute issues that might be a problem right now, but I can also see them for their well woman care over decades. And I find it most satisfying to take care of people whom I know and who know me.